Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to rotate a 2D function rotate a 2D function with respect C axis sorry for my English, in future videos I'm going to improving my English, I hope so so the first thing that we need is a independent variable called X from minus 10 to 10 in the steps of 0 0.01 second we need a function we can uh, rotate for example cosine function cosine of independent variable that in this case is x now we need to a vector yeah, when, well in this case is a matrix a matrix with the first column is all variables of values of the independent variables in form of column and all uh, values of the dependent variables of the function in this case cosine of x in column form 2 now we need to uh, loop a loop for the variable theta that is the angle that we need to use to rotate uh, theta um, since zero angle zero in the steps of 0 0.1 1 2 2 times p this is um, a complete uh, a complete circle a complete a, com a complete um, a complete circle the, mm, then in we initialize a matrix rotation uh, in this case a matrix rotation and is uh, two, uh, two dimensions so the matrix rotation is um, um, it of order 2 times 2 so matrix rotation with respect theta axis order 2 times 2 the first um, the first row of this matrix is cosine of the argument theta that is the angle sin minus sin of theta and sin of theta and cosine of theta then we need mm, multiply multiply matrix V times the matrix of rotation R to rotate all the 2D space this is B rotate is equal B times R because V is B is mm, N times 2 order and R is 2 times 2 order then BR is of N times 2 order so in this point we need to extract the values rot the rotate values of the independent variables and in this case is that BR matrix all rows and column 1 and in this case is Y matrix BR all rows and column 2 now at this point we can plot plot the new values rotate at each value of theta and we can put a pause to see the rotation part of 0 0.01 seconds 
now in this point at this point if we we, we put an axis the axis function to force MATLAB and display a figure plot with some limits in his axis in axis in axis x we can uh, limits if we limit m minus 5 and 5 like uh, as maximum limit and in y x axis we can mean limit 5 and max limit 5 so at this point we need we show to see we should see the figure rotating from angle 0 to angle 2p that is in radians theta is in radians so 2 time p is equivalent to 180 degrees uh, sorry sorry uh, uh, 360 degrees so we save and run it's the first time so okay the figure is rotating uh, all 360 degrees like we can see in this case if we in, in this case the minimum values of independent variable x is minus minus 10 and the maximum maximum value is 10 so we need to change to see all the figure inside the plot we change and uh, doing um, more small values here or more greater values here we need to this we we decide change here 12 or fi 15 okay 15 and plot okay now we can see the figure inside the the plot all the figure inside the plot we can see that the cosine of x is inside the square limit by um, side of 10 points or in this case 20 points from minus 10 to 10 and minus 10 to 10 if we can change for example the line width of the of the function we can see we can put uh, more 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 width in the line so we can see that another um, another thing that we can do is modify the function for example cosine of x cosine of 3 3 plus cosine of 4 times x in this case of the this function we do more amplitude to cosine function and more frequency because when we are multiply uh, the amplitude of cosine function that is in range original or originally in from minus 1 to 1 to uh, and we are multiply by 3 so then we are scaling for three times and the argument x we are multiplied for uh, by four in this case we are adding more frequency so if we run again we can see that and we can put all function that we want for example um, x at a 2 power um, we can see that we can comment this and put, and put x to that 2 power ok 
okay to compute element wise power use power point and this symbol instead so we miss the point here okay and we see that the, the function rotating okay thanks for watching I'm going to share you the code in the description of, of the video I put a link I will put a link of the code and if you want more videos like this you can subscribe and share these videos thanks for watching